Todd tuned in here. This is another simple quick tip Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. And uh, this is simply to show um, the spot colors. And uh, when you get artwork from customers, um, a lot of them don't create artwork in uh, spot colors for whatever reason. They might know it's going to be printed in spot colors, but they don't know how. I don't know why. But uh, so here's a simple way to make sure that you print everything out in spot colors. And some people do their separations manually and they literally um, like, you know, they'll color this artwork up in the color that they want to print it. And let's say it's just going to be some generic color like light blue, sky blue. And they'll move this off to the side well, they'll duplicate it, move this off to the side for their original, and then they'll fill everything with uh, black. And then they'll print the film that way. Um, of course, that would not be right, but that's not part of my show. Um, <coughs> so, how I've been taught, how I know to do it is you actually um, select the inside of one of these colors uh, select same fill color and then you come over to the uh, swatches window click on the plus sign for new swatch and that creates you a custom spot color so you have to change it and identify it as a spot color right here you don't want process because that's going to give you four separations creating that blue so you want to change it to spot color that's going to enable you to print out the film and you'll have five different spot colors in the list and in your one file and they'll all print out and uh, so let's change this to like sky blue but when I go back and actually print this job I'm going to give my printers a reference color from the Pantone book so that they have more of a target uh, what kind of sky blue is that a dark sky blue or a gray sky blue? Um, so, you know, I like to be more specific. And I'll, I might call that PMS 291 or something like that. Um, but for this video, let's just click OK. You don't need to be worried about anything down here. This is just the visual appearance, how the colors are made up of, whether it's HSB, you know, CMYK or RGB. Um, I like to work in CMYK. I'm just more familiar with that. This doesn't have to do with output. This does, whether it's process or spot color. Um, and we want spot, so click OK. And now I have my spot color that I'll print out. And then what I like to do is I like to go up to this little fly out window up here. Select same all unused and then get rid of those because in this file I don't want anything else other than the colors I'm using for the artwork. A little extra folder that hangs around. Don't want that. So this is all I want in here. And uh, that's it. That's basically all I wanted to show was how you select a color that was CMYK or RGB created by another artist. Uh, and then for me to print my file out in separations, I'll choose that as a spot color. That's why. Okay, that's all there is about that. Thanks. Click like on my video and uh, subscribe so that you can see other updates.